Alright, let's go upgrade uh, Yagi. We can actually do some stuff. Ooh, these are gonna be good. These can target everybody. Um, okay, just making sure Inferno selected. Mirage isn't that good. Maybe I'll go for After Image. This one could inflict slow, but it's not guaranteed. What does this sign say? Humble Heights South, Northeast Mount, Almissary Balloon North. Chancy Chasm West. I like the music here. It's pretty chill. What a charming town. So much energy and joie de vivre. I'm looking forward to the live combat demonstration. What fun. Um, cupcake. I'm glad you're having fun, but isn't live combat rather violent? Oh, yes, dear. Isn't that exciting? Oh, uh, blood. I uh, think... I think I'll just uh, sit by the canyon until you're done, Angel. Psh, a little blood never hurt anyone. Can you go into these? Oh, you can. Hopefully this doesn't glitch out <laughs> like the other ones did. Hun, you forgot to do the laundry again, Lacey. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, darling, but I also note someone didn't clean the dishes last night. Lamar. <laughs> I would have if... I wasn't always the one picking up after you. All right, I'll do better next time. Love you. You better, I love you too. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck is- Oh, that's them. Couldn't really tell. Is this Lady? That's Laylee. Close though. You look awfully tired. If you need to rest a bit on these super soft beds, Oh, I'm sorry. I could not read that properly. You look awfully tired. If you need to rest your eyes a bit, our super soft beds cost just 20 clovers. Um, Which do I have? Doesn't say. How do I find out how much I have? Because it pops out when I... Okay, there it is. 400. Let's save. It's been a bit since I saved. Yeah, this makes it pretty good. Very chill. Oh, what are you doing here? Whoa! Oh wait, I forgot how to do his voice. Oh, okay. Whoa, Ellie girl. I'm a big fan of your cardio routine. Hey kids, good to see ya. Always good to meet a fan. What are you guys up to? Just running around. Sounds a bit aimless, but nothing beats a jog up a mountainside to get your heart pumping. I don't know why, but this place gives me so much energy. The air is super pure and oxygenated up here. Great for working out. Yeah, that's probably it. Hey, how about a race? I sit this time running one step backwards for every step forward. <laughs> awesome, love a challenge. Where's the uh, finish line? In the Badger Mines? <laughs> oh my god, that's a long ass race, dude. <laughs> In the Forest of Roots. Want to know the rules? Uh, no, I know how to do that. Oh my god, <laughs> that's gonna be a long race. Um, let me do some other stuff before I decide to do that. I was not expecting that to be that far. Oh, it's just for the salamander. That's gonna be fun to do. Okay, well, I guess I'll do it now. <laughs> I was expecting there to be more stuff, but... Yep, we're ready. Just get to the Badger Mines before my best time to win. Three, two, one. Oh, I gotta use the butterflies? Let's have Yagi, because he was in the dialogue. Oh, I gotta use him again? This is kind of fun. So, should she just jump up there or something? You gotta time your jumps, too. Wait, you got like less than 10 minutes? Or 2 minutes? Oh, is this like a shortcut? 
Okay. This is kinda cool. Oh no. <laughs> does the timer still go? It does. Oh no. <laughs> this is not good. It looks like it goes by kinda slow though, which is kinda nice. Maybe because of all the slowdown. Oh, that was close. Oh, gotta use a uh, Yagi there. Also, this does take us here. There was a thing in the Crystal Mines where you can, uh, there's a shortcut. Oh, yeah. So that's where it takes you. That's cool. That was close. Okay, that's not too bad if there was a shortcut back here. Because otherwise, getting all the way from, uh, like the, the highlands and stuff, that would be crazy. Get a free healing item there. We're almost there. I wonder if it's gonna stop at the generator, maybe? Oh, that could be close. Oh, it does stop at the generator. Yeah, that was intense. I think I'm gonna throw up. Uh, how did I do Dub's voice? I think he's like, I think I'm gonna throw up. I think that's his voice. One heck of a race, guys. Those little legs can fly. Here's your well earned prize. While out of combat, gain a speed increase. Go to the balloons page. Oh my god. I can run even faster? That's cool. Better get back to my training. Look forward to the next race. That's a cool upgrade. Oh. It just equipped it for me. That's awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. We are zooming now. That's cool. That's why I like doing the side quests here. They're, they're super rewarding. And definitely, um, oh yeah, there was this. Do this then. Get the little salamander. Zoom up. <laughs> the loaf there. Maybe you should do that for a thumbnail. Does it say that'll take me there? <laughs> Whiny Bird Village. I forgot that is a thing because uh, the badgers don't really like the. Uh... I forget what they are. The coos, some things. But now we can go this way. I think I'll need to get Lint to get this uh, dust pile out. Gah! Jeez, you scared the dirt out of me. Hey, can't you? You can't go in there. It's dangerous. Oh. There we go. Cool. So I would have... I had access to this if... I went back. I guess I would have. Maybe they would have thought that hey, you wouldn't do that. Ooh, that looks like ancient uh, stuff from uh, the fire guys. Uh, civilization. I'm going to go back to the village, though. It's nice backtracking, though. Um... There we go. I was pressing A a bunch. Took a while. We'll come back to explore this area in a bit. These guys, they look like Android 18 and 19, I think? Maybe 17. I don't know. From Dragon Ball Z. Okay, um... I guess this side we haven't explored yet. Oh! Who are you? Layton. Kids, come over here! Oh no, it's Layton. He's kind of odd. 
Everyone be cool. Listen, you look like you have some sense. I need help. No one believes me. But there's something dark and evil coming. It's almost upon us. It's Jester. That's his name. I can't remember. It's gotta be. Let me guess. This evil is coming today? You feel it too? According to my calculations, it will make landfall right here in Llama Village. Today. Oh no. That's the uh, third time this year. What do we need to avert this one, Leighton? Listen carefully, kids. We've only got one shot. You see these stone lanterns? I was wondering if we need to light them. I need you to go to all these... I need you to go around and whack all the lanterns in the village. Stay here and... And I'll try to get a read on the energy vibrations. Quick as you can. I don't know how much time we have. Okay, but only because I love hitting stuff. I did see them around the village and wondering if we were going to do stuff with them. That's kind of cool. It's an old tournament picture of Gyatso and Lawrence's match. Handwritten note at the bottom. The moment we fell in love. Can't get cheesier than that. That's funny. Is he Gyatso? Lawrence, uh. Or maybe that's Gyatso to the right of him. Ah, this is my favorite time of year. Tournament season. You know, this is the first time in 20 years I won't be competing. Wow, you must be really good if you did it every year. How many times have you won? Oh, winning isn't everything, you know. My specialty was nearly but not quite winning. I was the very best there is at coming close second. You didn't win on purpose, but why? If you never win, it means you always do better next year. Fans love an underdog. See Lawrence? No, this is Gats. Oh, so this is the... Are they a couple? I don't know. Said the time they fell in love. I'm so tired. I've been helping the monks set up all week. They kept stopping for serenity breaks, and my husband kept reminiscing about his days in the spotlight. So we barely got done in on time. Two of my students are taking part this year. I'll have to make sure that to cheer them both equally. We're, in we're entering too, Master Getzel. Is that so? Well, I'll cheer for you as well, Yagi. But remember to take it seriously. The tournament has a long and esteemed history. Sages don't take kindly to those who play games. Perhaps I'll cheer for everyone just to keep it fair. Wait, does Lawrence have any other things to say? Coming in second place was how I met my husband, Gatso. We battled for the crown in the arena all evening. And he asked me out when we were side by side on the podium. Such fond memories. Ah, uh, but it's time to give the next generation the chance to stand in the spotlight. Remember, kids, you miss 100% of the shots you don't deliberately not take. <laughs> Is that double negative there? Okay, that's sweet. What's in here? Nope, oh, broke some pots. You know how impolite it is to rummage through someone's dresser, right? <laughs> oh, right. That's funny. Oh, no, you find an impressive amount of clothes tightly packed and neatly organized, nothing else. Yep, still just clothes. Sure it is. Wait a minute, there's actually something hidden under the, one of the robes. Is that gonna tell me what I got? Guessing a meat pie? You're not confident you've thoroughly inspected the dresser. Okay. Kinda wish it showed me what I got. Oh, whatever. Who are you? Oh, it's Lane. Ah, it's good to return to the old homestead after a long adventure. Every adventurer needs a little sweet little town and a beautiful girl to come home to. Is this lady? It is! Tournament time is so exciting. All the greatest martial artists of the age are in town at once. I always have to, my autograph book on me. How do I look? I bought a whole range of new dresses. A new look for every event. For the opening ceremony, I went with the sparkles to represent the light of potential within each comp competitor. Then there's the challenge. All that sweat, running around, casual lit in jumpsuit, cooling with plenty of movement. The main tournament is when things get serious. 
form fitting with the severe black and white as the opposing forces struggle for dominance. And then the showstopper, a gown of my own making, floor length and sea foam green as a celebration of Mount Lomissary in all it encompasses. That's kinda cool. Four outfits in one day may seem like a lot, but if you're going to do something, you should do it with style. Okay. Does Lane have anything else to say? Oh look a tournament to look for the for the strongest and bravest. Ridiculous. What does this sleepy little place know of true peril? No one here has ever had to face down a wild yeti with only a sweater and a sheet of paper to defend themselves. Can you call yourself a warrior when you're not defeated in ancient curse, trapping you in a whirlwind? Have you even done all these things, Lane? Don't even get me started on those who haven't been swallowed by a raging sea monster. Me? Enter the tournament? No, no, I'm all about the wild unknown. Although, competing would be a good chance to woo a certain lady. Do I have enough? Uh, I do have enough for one more. Hmm. Mine prison. Let me check that out. What does distortion do? Oh, I thought I said six damage. I misread it there. It has more of a chance to slow enemies. Although slow is not really that good of a status, it just like slows them down when they're gonna attack you. What if I want to level up a uh, lint? Could do well. Cliffhanger is the best one that I have. Resolution heals everybody for ten. Turning point does four damage to a single enemy, and this just revives. Yeah, re resurrects somebody. I'll save my SP for now. But these look interesting. I can buy boons. I see you got an eye on an. I see you got your eyes on a kitchen knife. That's a mighty fine piece. Comes vegetables slash slash preparation times. A sharp utensil from Chief Chef Barnabas. Official kitchen kit. Chap chap. You want this one, right? Yes. Excellent. Nothing more. Nothing I love more than a satisfied customer. Oh, another weapon. Could've got these cheaper, because there's probably going to be a way to get these things cheaper, but I, I got the money for it. I see you got your eyes on a gourmet. That's a fine, mighty fine piece. During battles, gain more HP, R WP, or RP from items. You want this one, right? Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty good item. Kind of wish there was something like that in Paper Mario. Just makes your uh, things more useful. So, um... Can't look at my boons. That's kind of dumb. So, where is it? Gourmet. Hmm. Guess get rid of the poison, I guess. Also, the knife. Let's do this since I already have some food damage already. Man, I need to level up my backpack. So, he has more options. Huh? I walked by these guys before. <laughs> I like this up. Kakoi! Y Yagi? How did you get back here? <laughs> he looks like Sasuke. I wonder if that was intentional. From Naruto. Surprised to see me, huh? Well, yeah, I didn't think you'd get out of that trap without help. How could you leave your rival stuck in such a humiliating position? Have you no honor? I <laughs> like how Loaf and, and Lint are mess er looking at him angrily too. Psh. I'd have come back with help eventually. Besides, you needed to cool off. I see. I f figured I'd be too strong for you at that tournament, huh? Like, as if. I never needed cheap tricks to beat you at your own challenges. Gah! And right, there's and right, there's why no one that, that seems kinda weird. And right there is why... Oh, I see. My bad. <laughs> and right there is why no one in the village takes you seriously. You might have talent, but you don't act like a real warrior. Well, that's about to change. I teamed up with Loaf and Lint, and we're ready to take on anyone on. See, there should be more instances here where it's the three of them, or all of the party out at the same time, and not just one person swapping in and out. Yeah, so stop being mean. 
You really think you could win the tournament with some little kids you just met? That's delusional, Yagi, even for you. You're just jealous because we got a strong team. We're going to be heroes and you'll be left in the dust. Oh, really? How about this then? Duel right now. The winner goes to the tournament, the loser has to stay in the village and train for another year. Fine. Fine. Cool. Kakoi and Tadbees. The dude just picks up a random monster. Okay, I'm going to keep Yagi here just because of... We should have him here in the front. Let's go for Inferno. Oops. Okay, so it's like a uh, lens move. Let's try the knife. Oh, that's cool. I like this action command. Also, it gets progressively harder to do. That's kind of cool. Next way on. Now it's just Kokoi. So he's weak to psychic damage. Dang. Oh, I got rid of it. Oh, let's do Kitchen Knife. Oh yeah, that's right. He resists sword attacks. Um, so I'll do after image. Do I have an item I can heal? Sunday, I guess, right? And it's also boosted as well. Yeah, we'll do the Sunday. I guess we'll just do after image. Oh, that was nice. Thankfully, missed. Um, I guess we'll do fish hammer, right? Anything that's not a sword move or a slice move. Dang, dude, why do they keep wanting me to eat food? Getting the action command doesn't really seem to do all, all that extra damage. Let's see if I can get Yagi to finish it off. We got a little salamander spear too. He's pretty decent fight. Ha ha, in your face. Oh, he's graceful in victory. Yeah, I'm thinking that these llamas are like uh, anime references because those llamas in the back definitely look like the androids from Dragon Ball. That guy, Kakoi, looks like Sasuke. I wonder if there's any other ones that have other anime inspirations. Yagi doesn't really look like anything I can think of. You got lucky, Yogi. There won't be enough for the tournament, though. Go have fun play fighting with your new friends. I hope they're worth it. I'm off to do some cold weather training. See you whenever. Whoa, he look mad. Nah, he'll be fine. He's just not used to getting beat. Huh, strange. I thought it would uh, feel better. He trained so hard for the tournament, it's weird that he just gambled everything on just one fight. Oh, let's go sleep at that inn now. Oh, really? <laughs> You're not allowed to walk around. That sucks. <laughs> That's a funny way to go to sleep. Face first. Oh, I've never done it before? I guess I never did it in the, uh, the bird village. Um, looking at my backpack here. Maybe I should change this one out. Oh, I don't have the size for it. Is that too many sword stuff? I'm gonna change out shish kebab for this. 
Who are these guys? Shoei? You heard right. We're top competitors this year. Or, you heard right. We're top competitors this year. We're the ones to watch. The very best. And you can forget the rest. Oh, they're Team Rocket. Maybe Jesse James kind of thing. But, but Jesse kind of has like longer hair. But, ugh. Can't believe I'll have to face you two in the tournament. Yagi, you're not actually going to enter, are you? Oh my god, too funny. Stop, Jean. You know he can't. I think that's how you say it with the X's. I'm not too... Because this is like Chinese spelling, so I'm not the best at pronouncing that. Of course I am. I've been training all year. <laughs> His face. Oh, I would have called dancing around the village making silly faces training, Yagi. The tournament is for serious warriors. Like yours truly. I don't make faces. I am a warrior. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing it again. This is so embarrassing. Ugh, why do they always think I'm joking? Jean, look at Clown. He's not looking at me. <laughs> he's not looking at them. Oh, <laughs> Don't punch them yet. Don't punch them just yet. 50. Photos are 50 clovers each. No fighting. I've got enough headshots for everyone. Okay. What's up here? Signed poster of Lane. Autograph reads, To the great adventure of all time. Me, Lane. <laughs> he signed his own thing. Yeah, there's still more to this village I haven't explored. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Ooh, what's over here? A little, a little salamander. I don't know why I get surprised by it. <laughs> I can get on the roof here. It's kind of cool. Wasn't expecting that. Looks like Shui, Shui and Jan have been drafting names for their slogans for their duo. Paragraph a text multiple text circle multiple times. It reads, "Prepare for an adversary and make it binary." <laughs> yep, definitely Team Rocket. To protect our reputation, to earn people's admiration, to denounce our enemies, and to extend a hand to our groupies. Jue, Jan, Team Goat will win the day. Surrender now, because you'll lose the fight. <laughs> That's funny. Who's this fella? Snore? Hedge? I'm visiting for local material for a new podcast. I'm a podcast host, you see. Yeah. The podcast in Paris never sleeps. I'm always on the lookout for a new concept. Oh, it's so warm here. Very different to my sleepy, cozy little village. Oh, how about the travel podcast? I could describe the sights, eat delicious food on mic. Uh, sure. I, I would love to hear other people's vacations almost as much as their dreams. Yeah, in that case, you'll love my podcast, Sleep Talk with Snore. Subscribe today. The high glamour travel. Always meeting fascinating new people. Yeah, such is the jolly life of a podcaster. Okay. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be like kind of Swedish or something. In honor of Llama Village's greatest hero, Kalama. The boons he crafted are a constant reminder of his unparalleled legacy. The Lama Seri holds this tournament every year. It's a contest of strength for many, but also a trial for us slimes who walk the serene path. What? <laughs> Monks aren't supposed to compete only. Watch. It's a test of our commitment to the ways of peace. I've only been a monk for the years, so this is my first time attending. The fire in the air, the excitement is so hard to resist. But I must stay strong. Okay. Hello. Lana. Everyone's so cheerful and pumped at the tournament time. But for the caterers, my family, it's hell. Honestly, it's super stressful. One day, I'll enter the tournament, but I'll have to give up snacks for training. Snacks are delicious, maybe, but it's better to be in the audience. My family makes the best food in all the Holy Highlands. Soon, we'll have a shop in every town. Can't wait. What is this? Looks like a fast travel kind of thing. Guess that takes us up there, so I'll go down here. Professor Rose, huff, puff. Oh, there, little ones. Quite the uh, uh, 
trek up. <sighs> Is it not? Oh, I say, have you encountered any marvelous wild creatures while hunting the highlands? You see, I'm collecting on dangerous species, and I must adore sharing my love of research with unsuspecting passerby. Here, I'll write down my latest observations in your journal. Very exciting, wouldn't you say? So much data. A variable treasure trove of fun, or what fun, eh? Any of the dialogue? I say, now you know as much as I do, mind you, but we've hardly begun to understand these sublime creatures. I've written my notes in your journal. Make good use of this information, you young zoologists. Okay. Guess I could read these. Honey slimes. These mischievous creatures are more spice than sugar. Having surprised many a careless adventurer with a whack of their wooden spoons, where they where they find those utensils is still up for debate. But nearby farmhouses get through kitchenalia at a starting rate. Never heard that. Is that a real word, kitchenalia? Like paraphernalia, but for kitchen stuff? Tad beast. More than tad beastly, these creatures have gathered quite the nasty reputation. They have the unpleasant habit of jumping onto passerbys and spitting poisonous mucus at their prey. They live where there's plenty of water and people to harass. Uh, cowgers. This menacing feline. It's a feline? I thought it was like some sort of monkey thing. I guess it makes sense. Cowgirl, like cougar. This menacing feline is one of many fractured parts of the psyche of Monsieur Clausen, a world-renowned psychic who was the victim of an unfortunate astral accident. Watch out for its might attacks. Huh. I wonder if we'll meet that Mons Monsieur Clausen. The Spicabel. I haven't ran into this guy yet. The quite monastic life has taken a toll on these angry bells. Gone gong rogue. That's funny. These figures... They vigorously disturb the calm of the lower flows in Mount Lamasary. Cover your ears to avoid their vengeful peep. This guy I haven't fought either. A uh, swift shade. When a monk succumbs to the temptations to peek beyond the veil, it becomes a shade. Its monocular banana bandana <laughs> banana. Its monocular bandanas conceals eyes that have seen too much too soon. Its manic grin says all you need to know about the questionables about its questionable sanity. Ruckus drum. Having taken a beating their whole lives, ruckus drums now march to their own rhythm. The sheer will of wanting to punch back has animated these toys, which now seek revenge. Watch out for their spin attacks. We'll be ready for bruises. Okay. Cool. I like getting the bestiaries updated. So that might be it for this area. Oh, we'll be going this way next.